This is MEC 14 current testing. The first thing we'll look at is the battery and the battery cables. We have the positive battery cable and that runs down either to your power distribution or to your starter. We also have the negative battery cable and clamp. It goes down to the cylinder block but it also comes back up and ends up on the body. So that's called the body ground. Now we have our HP, Sabre HP um, battery tester which is also current tester. So go down to the more functions and you'll see at the top it says multimeter. You can press go on that and that's when we start to hook up our amp probe. So these are our two amp probes. The first one over here says uh, one millivolt per amp and this one says a hundred millivolts per amp. And the reason why that is is because one can measure 200 and a thousand amps. That's quite a bit. And the other one can only measure up to 30 amps. The larger one will be for starting systems or other powerful motors and the smaller one will be for other systems of your vehicle. So how do we set it up? Well we go to the multimeter screen on our Sabre HP and then we look at the bottom it says 100 millivolts per amps and you can see amp probe 100 millivolts per amp if we want to change that we just pe press that arrow down key until we get to the right one and you can see that it is good we can also zero it with the up arrow but first thing we need to do is we need to plug in the amp probe and then we'll have to zero it So we turn the probe on. We can see we're at decimal zero three. We push the zero button down and turn it and try turning it one way. If it goes up, then go the other way. And we want it down to pretty close to zero, just like that. Now we'll hook our HP tester up to the battery, positive or red to the positive and black to the negative. And then we'll hook up our small amp probe. And you can see uh, we're going through the process of zeroing the amp probe. You can see on the amp probe there's a little arrow towards positive so we want to make sure that that is pointing away from the ground towards the positive side of the battery. We lay that down and then we go around uh, we'll press the max amps we'll lower the max amps and then we'll go turn something on. You'll soon see the amps climb up really quick because we open the door and the lights on the inside of the truck lit up and then we turn the headlights on and you can see it goes up quite a bit and then we turn the headlights off and it goes back down the lights are probably on and for a little while after the door closes now we'll hook up the large amp probe we'll set it to a thousand amps and we'll zero it and this will be for the starter motor which can get up to five or six hundred amps and we will make sure that the direction of the amp probe is the right way. Now we're going to put it around the ground cable that goes down to the cylinder block. So now we'll crank the engine over and you can see how much it went up and then we'll remove the tool and we're done.